Jones, Indiana Jones, Indiana Jones. It's a podcast about Indiana Jones. Every movie, one minute at a time. Welcome back to the Indiana Jones Minute, the podcast in which we get to the heart of Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom one minute at a time. I'm Tom Taylor. I'm Pete Mummert. I'm Jerry Porter. I'm Pete the Retailer. And I'm Alex Robinson. Welcome back, guys. Our guests from the Star Wars Minute podcast. Welcome. Hey, All right. That's where we're back. from. <laughs> it's good to see you guys. Yay. It's going to be a little Wait. awkward each time, but that's charming, isn't it? Totally. Yeah. <laughs> I'm charming. charmed. To the meet cute. Yeah. Um, <laughs> meet cute. Uh, we are here to be charming about minute 14 of Temple of Doom, which begins with Weber explaining that Indy and the gang will be flying in a plane with live poultry, and it ends with Indy on the plane emerging in his Indiana Jones uniform. Is, is get- Art Weber... Han Solo's idea of C-3PO. Mm. Oh, mm. interesting. He talks almost exactly like C-3PO. That's true. That is, he that's does, yeah. That's C-3PO line. Like the, well, the he, words that he says and the way that he says them both. Well, he, he like sings that line. <laughs> you will be riding on a, uh-huh. yeah, yeah. cargo full of You'll be riding on a cargo full of live poultry. Live poultry? Poultry. Live poultry. All falls into place. If only. <laughs> and even the way he says heavens. <laughs> yeah. That's really yeah. funny, actually. I hadn't thought of that. That is very 3 po followed by even the, his exposition line after that. He's like, oh, aren't you Willie Scott, the famous American female? Uh, yeah. What is this? Yeah. Name? Famous American yeah. female vocalist. singer or vocalist? Yeah. There, yeah. It's yeah. very C-3PO line, too. Yeah. yeah. It seems like he doesn't need all those adjectives as he's talking to her. Like, he doesn't yeah. have to mention that she's female or that yeah, she's American. Yeah, even if it's exposition, we know she's female. <laughs> yeah. He yeah. didn't Thank mention she's a human, so I don't know. <laughs> oh, there, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Take the professor in the back and plug him in. <laughs> um, speaking of Weber, is he screwing Indy over? Is he in on this whole? Is it? Is I mean, you know, we no spoilers. Indy's about to get on a plane owned by Lao Shea. Is he? Uh, is Weber in any way uh, facilitating this? Uh, this this trap? Or is he uh, just sort of I like, oh, he, the guy needs a plane. Here's a plane. I think he got Landoed. I think they got to. <laughs> oh, they got wow. Could wow. be. They knew that they were going to. You know, uh, uh, Lao Shea, I'm assuming, as a criminal mastermind, is is going to say like, all right, well, if uh, you know, let's say that this goes south over at the club. Like, if he tries to get out of here, let's have something set up. Yeah. Let's have every. Let's uh, have at every airport. <laughs> let's have a pilot ready to go. <laughs> like one of our yeah. guys. There's That's an airport I, down the street. I was wondering, does like how does. Lao know that they're going to the airport. Is it? Does he figure that out when they get on Airport Road? <laughs> oh, maybe. <laughs> and and, and does he does he call his Omar? Hmm. Maybe. And is that Weber? Except. Yeah. And is that exactly? Is that Weber? Does he text him? I or think was he's his... two steps ahead. <laughs> I think before he even went into the club, he was just like, "Look, they, they, this might this might go. The deal might go south. He might try to escape." Yeah. Let's have yeah. a guy on the airport. Let's have a guy. There's, I'm sure there's another guy at the dock. There's, you know, <laughs> right. Harold Ramis is waiting by the dock. <laughs> a berth on a steamship. Yeah. I think it went even earlier when Lao Shea was like just starting off in the business. He's like, well, you know what? In case my enemies are ever trying to approach me, yeah. I'm going to buy a ownership of every single transportation out of town just right. to be on the safe side. <laughs> I, I don't think that, um, I don't think it was intended for. Dan Aykroyd to be on the take or because I feel like they would have they would have underlined that a bit like had Dan yeah. Aykroyd look at Lao Shea or something but uh, it's, it's fun <laughs> to speculate about and I guess Weber <laughs> would have to know that Indy was being chased at that moment as he's trying to get on the plane and stuff or something like that that's the only way that it would be weird is if you know he doesn't know that like Indy wasn't like hey I'm about to screw over Lao Che I need a flight out of here 
So like he wouldn't have not said, on Lauche Airlines. Yeah, anything but that. <laughs> you should have specified when he did uh, Travelocity to not right, exactly. specify that. Gotta click that this box. whole airplane, this whole airplane plan of Lauche's, I I gotta admire the almost perverse <laughs> how complicated it is. Like, why not just yeah. shoot Indy as soon as he gets on the plane? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, that's true. Or have them just taxi what, around what? for a little while and not take off. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Or even better, take off and then land again. And then he's like, oh. Yeah, just bore him to death. <laughs> yeah. Right. But I don't even but know. What, what is his plan? Like, he's got he's got the diamond. Yeah. He's got the remains of Nurhachi. And he has those chocolate gelt coins. He has yeah. everything. He has successfully a, I, screwed over Indiana Jones. Yeah. Like, there's, there's right. I, don't, I don't know why he still wants him dead, necessarily. Well, I have we, a theory. Oh, go ahead, Alex. Oh. No, I was going to say just short of just plain old-fashioned revenge. Sure. I, I want to hear your theory. It's probably more complicated than that. <laughs> probably. Well, I, I'm wondering, is Lao Che a hero kind of like Baranka? Oh. Hmm. Like, did, is Lao Che, did he purposely lure Indy into this, like, A, he gets the remains of Nurhachi back into China, and now, you know, this guy, that this looter who's coming to his country, he's going to basically get rid of, kind of like Baranka wanted to do. Like, this guy's coming to loot and steal his heritage. Right. And Lao Che's like, you know what? We need fewer of these in the world. I, I want to protect my historical heritage. Could it's worth be. the sacrifice of one airplane and several, <laughs> uh, several poultry. <laughs> well, did you guys notice that Lao Che is driving a padiddle? What? Hmm? No, I did not. <laughs> <laughs> Explain yourself. Hold your potatoes. Yeah, okay. yeah, all you guys have to remove an article of clothing now. <laughs> <laughs> I already did. <laughs> I just can't see, but I did. I was no, doing one a day, so I'm. I'm oh, he's driving oh, a padiddle. Um, who wants to ask what a padiddle is? I feel like I do this all the time, and I'm, okay, and okay. I mean, it's like you a can ask, Yeah, if you can ask me, did you know Dan Aykroyd was in the movie? <laughs> but that's a running not, gag. No one knows what a padiddle is. Mm, I do. You Thank does. you. <laughs> I do. It's Thank a car. A car with a missing headlight. Really? Huh. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a game you play while you're on road trips where if you see a car <laughs> with a missing headlight, you punch somebody and you say perdiddle. I don't know about the removing of the clothes thing. That's that's not all. <laughs> the way we would play it is you would punch the person if if you saw a the first person to say it or not to say, anyway, something with punching people and headlights. It does sound well, like I'm fun. I'm sitting there and I'm actually watching this minute and, and Lao Che pulls up and I'm like, Padiddle, and I socked Alice. <laughs> <laughs> she was she happened to be sitting next to me. So. You know what's funny? As you set a chair like that, I actually kind of it kinda of, actually kind of rang a bell. Like maybe you've done that to me or something. Hmm. Just like having some kind of spasm or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <Padiddle. laughs> That's why he's been punching me yeah. all these years. He saw a yellow car, he saw a car without headlights, he saw a dog, anything. Just piddle and he punches me. <laughs> well, is it possible he lost the headlight in the chase? Don't they smash into oh, something? He, and he point? shoots it out. And oh, he shoots oh it that's out. right. Uh, yeah, he shoots the, the windshield and then he shoots the headlight. Now, if, well, that's if, probably why he kills him. <laughs> <he wrecked>. yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> now, oh, yeah, if, if Indy had shot out his headlight and then hit him in the arm and said piddle, is that cheating? Like, he, he, he's the one who put out the headlights? <laughs> yeah. No. That doesn't seem no, fair. That's totally fine. Oh, okay. He just, yeah, no, Lao Che would have to say padiddle before Indy. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Yeah. That's how it works. No wonder he wants him dead. It's all starting to make sense. <laughs> I just uh, have to say, I, oh, go ahead, Alex. I was going to say, it's very theatrical, but I do like the funky lightning on Lao Che while he's standing, you know, that classic. Oh, sure. Yeah. Uh, on the eyes Eye kind, of, uh, kind of a thing. Uh, that's, a, that's a fun little. Uh, <laughs> Bit of anyway, that was yeah. Uh, he looks, he's lit and looks exactly like he's in Human League. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah, that's funny. He actually does. Yeah, that that video that much looks is true. Exactly like that. <laughs> we were talking a little bit about uh, positivity before, and I I wanted to while we were watching this, I think, I think it dawned on me that this might be my favorite minute of the movie. Wow. Mm. For all the stuff that we've been talking about, like this kind of, you know, the the pulling up, the, we got the exposition from from Dan Aykroyd, um, you know, the stuff like the stylized kind of Lao Che, and then the the as it we haven't quite gotten to it yet, but the way that this minute kind of unfolds, that it's like you know, it turns out you know you get a little turn. He's got mm -hmm. the last laugh, 
And then it ends in a very kind of indie moment. And it's the kind of the end of that cold open thing that we were talking about. And it's like, yeah. mm-hmm. you get the feeling like, all right, now we're in an Indiana Jones movie. <laughs> That's a good point, See, actually, that, yeah. That made me really sad. <laughs> well, well, <I'm>, this beginning <laughs> is almost minute for minute matches up with Raiders. Like, in, in Raiders, they fly into the sunset in minute 13. And here they fly into the sunset in minute 14. But it's almost the same shot. Yeah. You know, the plane flies into the yeah. sunset. Raiders March comes on. And instead of flying back to California and Marshall, though, now yeah. we're, we're getting a completely different kind of movie. Yeah. I mean, it so, could be, I could be so positive about it because I know I'm, I'm jumping ship after time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like really so many great. Chinese pilots. <laughs> yeah. exactly. Well, and it's, and it's uh, <laughs> like it's an homage to the opening sequence of Raiders. But, of course, there's a twist. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah, the twist is it's clearly pitch black outside. Yeah. How's you flying into the sunset? <laughs> Still I think there. something with time zones, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They're crossing the date line or something. They literally just, they're heading west, and the, the, the plane is like, you know, 100 feet off the ground, and all of a sudden it's sunset. But it, when they yeah. arrive at the airport, you're like, oh, it's like, you know, I don't know, 1130? Well, maybe that's sunrise. Mm. They're flying west. I don't know. They're, they're flying west. They might not take off west. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> okay, we'll go back. Hey, there's a twist. There's a twist. That's right. That's the you twist. Got yeah. yeah, you got into the wrong plane. It's not. <laughs> it's like, That's why Andy says, "Oh, you a gin." That's right. <laughs> oh, yeah, I love that part too. By I've never way, heard that. By the way, I thought he was speaking Mandarin. <laughs> Are you dead serious? <laughs> I'm dead serious. That kind of sounds like it would sound like that actually. Buy you a gin. Buy you a gin. <laughs> That's yeah, funny. Buy like, a gin. No, I never caught that what? either. This until this time. He's he's when they're speaking with Mandarin. Them. You think they're speaking English, but when they're speaking <laughs> English, you, <can't> <laughs> yeah. you should go on Radio Lab for the strange brain affliction you have that <laughs> when you hear Mandarin in English. So, uh, speaking of flying west, what exactly is like? Is Indy planning on flying all the way back to California in this plane? Is that the idea, <laughs> or is he? Where is he going in the plane? In the script, he says, like, after they have that sad scene in the last minute where they, they wind up with Wuhan's tickets, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Willie looks at the tickets and she says, Siam? I don't want to go uh, to Siam, but it, 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 so Thailand. Oh, interesting. Oh, right. Yeah, don't they say that something about that later? I think they do. Uh, yeah, actually, I think she yeah. brings it up. Yeah. yeah. Was he going to try to find Marion? Doesn't she live in Thailand? Oh, no, she lives in... Uh, She's in Nepal. Tibet. Nepal. Right? Yeah, Nepal. Tibet. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. But, but that's if you, later. If you follow oh, the map, the map's not this minute, though, right? Yeah, that's, uh, next minute. Right, that's right, my yeah. point. They're Save flying it. west. They're, they're yeah. flying. If you look at the map, they're flying directly to Marion's bar. <laughs> like, if, if, and, you know, they're All leaving. Roads I, lead I to wondered if how much of this scene was directly going to be in Raiders because they're leaving from a Pan Am airfield like he would have gone on from the China Clipper mm-hmm. from Shanghai. And he's taken the exact same route that would take him to Marion's bar in Nepal. Hmm. Gosh, I wonder and if on some level wrong. they intended that and were like, Oh, this is like what would have happened in Raiders, but then we'll interrupt it with guys jumping out of the plane and we'll have our own movie instead of like <laughs> flying into Raiders. Or it's like the script just kind of kept trying to come back, like, come on, guys, you got to do this. It's over Remember here. Raiders? It's over here. That was awesome. <laughs> they just keep missing it. Yeah. Well, how about this? <laughs> nice try, Lao Che. Mm-hmm. How do we feel about that? I love it. Yeah. I think that's yeah. a really nice moment. Earlier in the week, we were talking about how this movie isn't as quotable, but that's something I say a lot. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. true. Oh, and I want you guys to make a shirt of that. <laughs> okay. The Lao Che Air Freight. The oh, Lao Che Air Freight logo on a gray shirt. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like That'd years nice. ago, I started doing like an Illustrator file to try to make that myself, but it was, <laughs> I was like, I'm not the Indiana Jones guy. Well, someday people will come along and do this, but. Oh, right, and then you the put list. the you put their catchphrase underneath in quotes. Nice ellipses. Try Lao Shay. Lao Shay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's rare. It's rare to see. Um, are there any other moments where Indy is that um, like braggy? I, where I, he's kind of like rubbing it in someone's face that he's thwarted them. He's a little bit like that at the beginning when he has the remains of Nur Hachi. Like, he's a little overconfident, but I don't think to this degree. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to think in Raiders, too. Like, I don't think... Like, he's like I want to say that he's like that with Belloc at some point, but he's never in that position with Belloc. Belloc's always, like, got yeah. the upper yeah. hand on him. 
Yeah. Like the closest he comes is, ha, 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 son of a bitch. <laughs> but even then, he's <laughs> like, I'm, I'm screwed. <laughs> this guy beat me again. See, I thought, like, first of all, I thought it should be nice tries, Lao Tse. Because, he, <laughs> I mean, he's tried like 17 times to kill him. Yeah, they were out a first... lazy Susan. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he was. And so, you know, I, I, I was going to say, I'm glad you guys like it. Maybe it's just me. I was going to say I wanted something a little bit more, a little more mean-spirited. Like if, if now's the time to be a little bit darker and more mean-spirited, I wanted it in this line. Yeah. Yeah, like I'm mean, like a, I'll see you in hell. You know, to, <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. I don't know, but he's like he, he's at a triumphant he, moment. He's like excited that he's getting out of there. He's 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 made a getaway and and he's excited about it. So it's not so much yeah. like up yours. I it's more should, like hooray. He should have gotten on the plane and then wound him from the, uh, <laughs> yeah. Put him on or the like, glass. Yeah. Do some sky writing. Like you're a loser. <laughs> <laughs> Don't. But Lao, Lao Shea is definitely my favorite character in this movie. And this is the scene that cements it. Like, A, like they do that thing where they're pretending to look really mad just to make sure he gets on the plane. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then they just laugh and laugh. Like, they've laughed half of this movie. They just seem like really kind of fun loving, happy yeah. guys with really good senses of humor. Yeah. He enjoys yeah. being a gangster. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah that feels good. Does that kind of friendly wave to the pilot? It, it yeah. seems like a nice work environment. <laughs> But Lao doesn't suffer any consequences. Like, it's strange. I mean, well, he loses his son, but he winds up getting to <laughs> <decide> every day. <laughs> <Nah. laughs> I mean, big deal. I don't know. Chin, yeah. And yeah. a plane and several chickens. <laughs> and probably that diamond. I bet he doesn't get back to the Club Obi-Wan and that diamond is still sitting there right. on the floor. The clumsy way to has the diamond. <laughs> Not to mention that his club was trash, if, he, if that That's was his true. club. That's <laughs> true. Right. Those gongs aren't cheap. He lost something. <laughs> but he still comes out of it with almost everything. That's true. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to think of, like, if they did. Do we know if the actor to play Zosha is still alive? He's deceased. He I is. Oh, yeah. is he? He is deceased, yeah. Um, didn't Paul Freeman die a couple of years ago, or is he still around? <gasps> no, I think he's still around. All right. He was recently. I'm trying to think like of I things. Just talk to him. What, you just talked to him? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> trying to see if so Andy killed, killed these guys in real life? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to think if they can do any kind of, you know, add just some more kind of throwback stuff once they go back to making Indiana Jones movies. Oh, yeah. Yeah. If they can Indiana have, Jones. you know, like old man Indy sitting on a bench with old man Belloc, <laughs> just kind yeah. of reminiscing. Just <laughs> Indiana Jones steep. versus the World Crime League. And it's right, like every yeah. bad guy from across the globe that he's ever yeah. fought before. <laughs> Indiana Jones and the free bingo space. <laughs> <laughs> applesauce with cinnamon yeah pudding tuesday <laughs> yeah pudding tuesday nighty night at eight thirty. yeah well i do have a question about i do like the scene the whole you know closing the door and you see lao che and everything um but from indy's point of view he doesn't know that he's getting on a, on a plane owned by lao che so why does he think that lao che is just stopping there and like not s continuing to chase them onto the plane or anything i think like, wouldn't that... a, he needs like a boarding pass to get past the uh, <laughs> yeah, maybe. he's not right. a ticketed passenger <laughs> when there he is another explanatory oh. scene in the script oh where Lao oh, really? Che and his son get out of the car with guns and the guards there at the kind of that checkpoint take their guns away from him oh so hmm. like they, they oh, get, you see them get stopped okay well as he pulls up in the padiddle he actually honks twice. <laughs> it goes, uh, uh, and maybe that's the, you know, his signal of <laughs> make sure Indy gets on that plane and uh, you guys crash that plane and that's the my plane. Uh -huh. Or so maybe. if it had been one sustained honk, it would have been something different. Or if it was like, da 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 it would have been. Exactly. I think that might be his signal because there's nothing else explains it. Well, between the balloons and the car honks, Lashe has men are really into signals. Yeah. <laughs> Couldn't be more clear. Secret codes. Eastern, the Eastern into a very elaborate, uh, you know, subtle yeah, right. messages like that. <laughs> um, and yeah, this minute ends then with uh, Indy stepping out of, I don't know, the bathroom, I guess, in his uh, Indiana Jones uniform. And uh, is, his, is his Indy outfit... Any more or less comfortable than a tuxedo? 
Do you think you'd be in a tuxedo and be like, ah, I want to change into my my my, my khakis <laughs> and my shirt and my bullwhip and my leather jacket and my hat and just relax? I think to him it is. That makes sense. If that, yeah, probably, like I don't, yeah, I don't really feel comfortable in jeans, even though I'm told I'm supposed to. Oh, I get the <laughs> same exact thing. I never so wear like, jeans. Yeah, so I, I, you know, I've started to do it just so people don't think I'm weird. <laughs> but, um, I think you know, given the opportunity, I, you know, if I'm Indiana Jones, that's you know, I feel I feel like Indiana Jones in my indie outfit. Mm-hmm. You need to you need to get those sweatpants that look like jeans. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> they look like Indiana, Indiana Jones. Yeah, Indiana. Oh, man. <laughs> Indiana jeans. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> or just get Indiana Jones pajamas. Those are probably super comfortable. Mm. And you look like a cool Indiana Jones man. <laughs> <laughs> this, uh, him changing into the, his Indiana Jones costume, to me, is what also, like, I don't know, makes it seem more cartoony than... Yes. Mm-hmm. Like he's a superhero now. He's putting on yeah. his his costume. Whereas <laughs> yeah. I never, I felt like that was just like something he was wearing in the other movie. Not like, well, I, if I'm right. going to go fight to archaeology, I got to put on my leather jacket <laughs> yeah. and stuff. No, I agree so. completely. Yeah, it's, it's 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 a little too. You should never see him change into that. He should just show up in it because. Yeah. Yeah, why would he put that stuff on? It's a weird <laughs> outfit. Just like out of context, it's a weird outfit. It was. I guess um, that was on the luggage. That short round was. Yeah, was, he's got that little bag. Oh, I guess so. <laughs> yeah. Which, which, by the way, as we see them, as we see short round go to the plane, he actually is wearing those yeah. lifts. Yeah. Oh, is he? Mm. He's oh, still. He's got a yeah. He's, yeah. Oh, that's hysterical. And, yeah. And he grabs it's the like, bag, the luggage from Dan Aykroyd. And and yeah, and he's running kind of. Uh, it's kind of really weird the way he's running. And I think I thought to myself, listen, of all the things to pay attention to <laughs> <laughs> yeah. in this movie, you know, we'll make sure. I mean, we showed him with the blocks on in the car. <laughs> he's got to have <laughs> way to the plane. At some point in the future, someone's going to be going through this minute by yeah. minute. They're going to notice if we don't have yeah. pickles blocks off his feet. We we don't need to know why Willie's here. No. <laughs> well, I think yeah. I think it's an amazing touch though. Like they were filming in Macau with the blocks, and then someone had the presence of mind to say, you know what, we need short rounds still in the blocks when they get to California. <laughs> oh, that's actually true. That's funny. That's interesting. Although that also pointless. since he takes the bags from Dan Aykroyd, that makes me think that maybe uh Weber isn't in on it because if he was in on it, maybe he would have, you know, thrown some kind of insurance, like put a snake in the luggage or something like that. <laughs> right. Itching powder on the jacket. Yeah. Or just yeah. take it all out. Just like he opens it up and it's like, you know, <laughs> like dirty sheets. You're right. <laughs> Parachutes. I like hey. the snake idea. I like that Dan yeah. Aykroyd, this this British diplomat guy, has <laughs> like a box, box of snakes for just that occasion. <laughs> <laughs> like itching powder. <laughs> Who says can't trust talk anybody. About slumber parties. <laughs> right. Who brings up itching powder? <laughs> well, we're on the plane now. Does that do it for minute fourteen? That's all I got. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like I said I. I think my favorite movie. I can't think of anything later that uh, that I like more than this minute right here. That's impressive. This might be the peak for me. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I, I, I understand, I'm, I'm but I never would have expected that. Going back, maybe not. Maybe it's, you know, actually it might be minute like two or three. <laughs> it, <laughs> might, it might be anything goes. The Paramount logo. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We, uh, we love I, anything goes. We love that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's, it's great. Do you think that was, I'm sure you guys mentioned that that was probably the theme now. They're warning you that that's the theme of the movie. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. Monkey uh-huh. brains. Everything's good. <laughs> 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 well, I guess that does it for minute 14. Uh, Pete, our Pete, Pete Mummert, uh, where can people get in touch with us to um, tell us about the itching powder in our sleeping bags? <laughs> you can find us on Facebook. Look us up, Indiana Jones Minute, or we have a special discussion kind of page, Indiana Jones Minute and the Listener's Crusade. And where can us guys find you guys, uh, Pete and Alex, in the Star Wars Minute? On the Star Wars Minute. Star Wars Minute. Star Wars Minute. Dot com. 
<laughs> <laughs> yeah, StarWarsMinute.com. Uh, that's where you can find our uh, our podcast. We're yeah, what are we at the first quarter of Attack of the Clones at this point? Something yeah, like somewhere that. Somewhere in there. Yeah. It's a long movie, so who knows? It is. Long time. <laughs> time means and, nothing with uh, Attack of the Clones. Yeah, and we're of course, we're Star Wars on, Minute on Twitter. Yeah, and iTunes and all that stuff. Any place you find, any reputable place you find podcasts, you can find Star Wars Minute. Star Wars. Oh. Um, <laughs> so, Not going to say it. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to. It's okay. You're worn out. I understand. <laughs> um, but everyone, please come back here for minute 15. These guys will come back and close out the week with us here on the Indiana Jones Minute. Oh, you a gin. <laughs> hey, and by the way, he says Shay. He says Lao Shay, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah, you were right, Tom. He does say Lao oh, Shay. Shay. I'm awesome at this. I didn't know yeah, you could have. Mandarin Peach. <laughs> Mandarin Peach. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, which one is that? Yeah. There's three of us? You guys fight it out. Now there are two of them. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs>